definitions in these meanings of these uh, parables are uh, the things that I've been sharing with you about transcendence and perfection and becoming a new uh, vessel, a, a, a second born in the age of the second born, you see. Um, and so, um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's quite a it's quite a you know, they, they can't interpret a word. They can't interpret the words. They think, oh, I love the word bless. Bless you. No, blast you. It's a cultic. Blast you. Oh, uh, you know, I want to, uh, um, you know, why don't why, why say repent? Because repent is an abstract term. Why not say what it is hiding right in the re again, okay? Pent for breathing. If you're panting, you're breathing. And pent is a five-pointed star. And so literally repent means and the T is, by the way, at the end of it is the symbol of the of the star and of the also of the sacrifice that we have to become, and and so repent literally means re, the rebreathe with the breath of a star, rebreathe with the breath of a star. Now, what would you rather have, repent or rebreathe with the breath of a star? And you get the picture right there. Thank you, Shelley, with the uh, the sun shining. You see the light. You we he told Zavram Haim. Abraham, Zavram Haim, the, the sovereignty of the many that could come, the sovereignty of the many is what Zavram Haim means. That we, are, we can all be like stars up in the sky, ladies and gentlemen. Power, cranking, you know, cranking with power. And, um, but, but the power is his, you see. We surrender our self-will, our power, and, and, uh, and he says, I am made strong in your weakness, right? So, so don't, don't worry about if you're falling down on your face and you feel you can't go any longer because that's the moment he can come and he can work a miracle in your life. You see, he's, 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 he's going to let you suffer a little bit, uh, but then he will restore you uh, to what was in the beginning, what is original. You see, it's the great mystery and that's why you have to die so that you can become the second born. They don't teach this stuff at the bullpit. You know that. You know that because they're all Freemasons and Jesuits running the show. They're all kissing a boat, Pope's big toe. Didn't you ever see all those preachers going to oh, going to the Vatican and they're they're uh, kissing the Pope's ring, you know, and oh, and whispering in his ear, "Oh, puppy, I love you. Oh, I I pray for you all the time." You know, so, you know all that stuff. It's just so sickening, isn't it? So sickening. They they the Jesuits have infiltrated all of Protestantism. At least Protestantism was on the right track, you know. It was going somewhere, but they still didn't know the words were controlled. They knew that the, the priesthood were a bunch of psychopathic murderers, but they, they still didn't have the original words because that was already a done deal a long time earlier. You know, all that switch out occurred. So, yeah, so they really they really did number, okay? And so Elijah, so when it says that then Elijah was, uh, you know, going to come, you know, when you saw Elijah, but it wasn't, it wasn't a, a, the reincarnation of Elijah. That's not who John... Uh, the Baptist correctly called Yalgenun, Yalgenun, the the uh, the garden at high noon that goes round. What does that mean? The garden at noon, the high noon that goes round. Remember, he had a special name appointed to him, a title by uh, Gavriel, which who is the giver of light, right? That is Yeshua. Um, he's he don't need anybody to help him. He can come down by himself and appear before everybody. And so he was being called the giver of light. And um, he's also Mecha, Michael. Micah Ul, Micah Ul, uh, is um, the one who is like Yah, okay? And uh, even Raphael, same thing. It's all the same character, but it's a different title because of what he is doing within the, within the, uh, the, the vision, okay? So, um, so Elijah is correctly Uleya, Uleya, because remember, El is, is a corruption out of Babylon. L E L is correctly. O O L. You see, the only here it is. Okay, E L O O L, ladies and gentlemen. So it's not El Elaya, it's Uleya. So let me spell it for you so you can see it. Okay, E E L I J A H. If you see, you will remember, ladies and gentlemen. That's the problem. We we hear it, but we don't get the picture. So that's why I'm going to give it to you right here. Okay. You saw it and got it here first. Don't forget it. And um, so there's the ul for the for the vision, the one with vision. The e is a corruption, and the two o's that sun and moon symbol of sun and moon because it brings both ends together. But the, all things come together at the end. 
And the lei, lei is a prime root for the word light. Uh, so in Hawaii, they, the women, when you get off the jet, they put a lei around your neck, right? It's those beautiful flowers. The sun is a flower. So they're putting the light around your neck in the lei. And, um, and, um, and then the yal is that which goes round. What goes round? The two symbols in the beginning. Oh, oh, sun and moon, the light going round. The, so literally what it meant was that, um, that at the end when you saw Elijah, well, what it really means is the spirit of enlightenment that goes round. That's the uleyal. That's the spirit of enlightenment. Okay, you see how they changed your words? What powerful symbol the two O's are in comparison to the E or to the, uh, you know, to the U, which uh, supplemented most of the two O's, right? Sun and moon. There's two eyes. There's your owl looking at you, the ul. Woohoo! Okay? Yeah. It's what they didn't want you to know that we tell right here, ladies and gentlemen, because somebody's got to do it. And I'm, I'm just so happy to do it. You know, I'm, I just, I wanted this stuff. I wanted to know the truth. I, and, and so to, a 40 year journey through the wilderness to decode have revealed to me. I didn't decode it as much as it was Yeshua revealing it to me. You know, he's always putting me in the right book at the right place at the right time. And boom, you know, just like you, when you knew as if you're old, as old as I am, you knew where you were when Kennedy was shot. I was in second grade at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And the nun says, everybody stand and pray for the president. You know, and, um, and um, you know, so I remember where these visions come from, uh, these awakenings, because there, there, I don't forget where I was because they were so, so impacting, you know, wow, whoa, you know, yeah, it's pretty exciting, but it, it's such a long journey to have, have it, have it all unfold. I couldn't even talk about it till this last year, you know, it just, uh, June 21st officially is when, when it all came on the table in 2018. Go to the the um, uh, the uh, Forbidden History series, ladies and gentlemen. That's a YouTube channel, the Forbidden History series. Four words, okay? And then you can uh, see, read it for yourself, okay? It's all there, and that's why I met all these wonderful people that are on with us today. Not not all of them, but uh, uh, a good half of them, you know, on the on the call today were with me at that channel till it got, you know, they they sabotage me about once a year somehow. Something happens, and then uh, I can't get local help because um, they're all Freemasons, and they hate my guts. They uh, they have it in for me, you know, because uh, they want to claim to be of the light, you know. Yeah. While the name Masonic means Mother Sons of Darkness, and um, yeah, they 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 do all kinds of little tricks, you know. They're they're such good tricksters, you know, and. Uh, yeah. So, OK, so ISIS. All right. So like when we read, uh, in other words, y y you know, what is the value of reading, um, you know, like like um, the, the work of Budge, who worked at the uh, British Museum back 100 years ago and reading the Book of the Dead, which would be correctly the uh, the book of the. Uh, the Occidental <laughs> you know, or, or the Book of the West, because there the word death. It was the Westing. Westing uh, that. Oh, we got Westinghouse. OK, so Westinghouse literally means the house of death. OK, isn't that wonderful to know that they how they label us over here? We're in the West, so we're the dead because we're in the West. West means death. OK, and um, figures child means death. Child means chilled and killed. Um, but so what is the value of reading of these other culture when we want to embrace the pure tradition in Yeshua, um, which ultimately then went from being, you know, uh, uh, an occultic term called Christianity, because Christianity uh, in its occultic meaning, you know, means to be anointed by urine, you know, and that's why out of his body came not just blood, uh, and he wasn't pierced up, up up high, he was pierced low, because all the blood had to pour out of his body, so he was pierced very low, and he was pierced in the kidney, unlike the way they want to show it in the movies. He was pierced low in the kidney, and then out came the blood and urine. Because there ain't no way you're going to bleed and, you know, you're going to see water. How can you see it unless it was shooting out, like the kidney will shoot it out when that pressure is built up? And what does it also show? It showed his, uh, his discipline. Again, once again, just like he went 40 days without food. But he, but he didn't drink water, but he did soak himself in the Jordan River and used a long trailing gourd and, and filled his colon with water so that he could absorb the water through his body. 
but he wouldn't drink it. And that showed the ultimate disciplinarian. And that's in the Gospel of the Essenes. You need to read the Essene writings, and you'll find out the rest of the story about Yeshua. Okay, you'll be there in another way. And it's a, it's a powerful thing because uh, he was a man. He was an Ashan. Okay, he had the spirit without limitation, but he was a flesh and blood man. So you have to take water. And so he did it by, by bathing continually in the Jordan River, purifying. The, that's the ultimate mikvah. You've heard about the mikvah. They continually bathe to purify, right? So he's bathing. Uh, the body's absorbing the water, and he's using a long trailing gourd, getting it in his colon. And so, um, so the, the whole thing about, um, you know, I think I lost my point now where I was going. But the, uh, the thing is that, um, yeah, I always have to go down another trail, you know, when I'm, when I'm telling these things. There's so, so much to talk about. But the point is that, um, that reading these other, other writings, the whole idea was that, you know, why? Oh, yeah, the, the urine. Okay, so, so what comes out of him, the reason, as you know, everything is symbolic in um, – the scripture, right? So every little move, every word, everything has a symbolic bearing if we can interpret it correctly. It's so powerful. It's it's flowing. It's an algorithm. And every move had like, okay, just like, um, yeah, you know, the dancers in India, those, those women way back then, and they danced with all these special moves. Every move they made in their dance said something it was a had a particular depth of meaning that only if you were initiated could you interpret it the dancers certainly knew it but um you know and but the most of the people watching didn't get it you know and that's the way it is here people are reading the book every day but they don't get it and so the fact that that two things came out of his side oh oh what i wanted to talk about was that disciplinarian first right so the fact that remember he gets betrayed he gets arrested let me ask you, do you think anybody asked him if he had to go to the bathroom? I doubt it. The, the way those people were back then, you know, on what they wanted to do, they never. He, and so the whole time he's being persecuted, just imagine he's not going to the bathroom and he's not, he's not peeing his pants either. Because he's a ram. He's the star ram. And he can do anything. He can go 40 days without food. And so, uh, so when he's... Um, you know, now meeting his final test because he said this would be his final test. You know, he then is on the cross and he's nailed there and he's holding in his bladder all the, the you know, the water from, you know, the evening before when they had a feast. They had a feast, you know. And so when the, when the, when the Asha spire, when the spear pierces him, then out of his side comes blood and urine showing that, get the picture, that there would be two natures coming out from his story coming out from this story coming out from this legacy and that one would be of the blood the true blood of yeshua and the other one would be of the urine of the false tradition that anointed themselves in urine and drank the urine as their initiation in their secret society club you know and that's why we got uh, christ and we got krishna and we got Christian because it's it's an occultic underworld thing. You see, so so that's why th this statement about water and blood, but it wasn't water. It was specific. It was urine. And so what we're all getting in the false tradition is the urine. You see that he told us right out the gate before he even said, well, no, he was he already said, it, you know, it is finished. So it's finished. And then he's pierced. And then out out of his death rises two factions one that is true and one that is false do you get the picture ladies and gentlemen i hear and i forget but if i can see and get the picture i will remember this is the the great mystery of the duality okay we are sick of drinking this putrid urine of falsehood and deception and vatican control okay and so the value of reading other scriptures uh, from other ancient cultures is to become an authority on the ancient past and on the Ashavors and on the common thread and the themes that they adopted, which are is our theme in their false savior traditions. You see, that's the that's the see uh, in Revelations when you read it says, um, and I heard the vo uh, Yalganun Yalganun says, and I heard the voice that was on the many waters. 
You see? So what does that mean? Can you interpret it? I heard the voice that that was on the many waters. Well, the voice that was on the many waters, the many waters are all the other nations of the world. And the voice is the one voice about salvation, only there is only one true one, and all the other ones are false. The Egyptian, all correctly called Mesar, and you know the uh, the Greek with Apollo and Jupiter, or uh, Babylon with uh, um, 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 you know uh, Freya, the Freya, and um, and you know Nimrod, or you know they got all these. It's so hard to keep all these terms in the head, ladies and gentlemen. You know, but the, yeah, water means control. Thank you, Lynn. There you go. One more time. The viator, the serpent of the water, because we wanted the blood, and what they're given is the viator, the water. Uh, symbolized by the urine, and the water means control, and so the controlling faction is, is the one in the urine. And that's why Christianity, quote unquote, dominates um, the the world by terminology. But it is the Moeshiyak. It is not the Christ. It is the Moeshiyak. There's the Yak that symbolizes the male and female, the duality, the Asha for the royal eye, the Mo for the mother, because the mother brought forth the baby. Then that she was standing there at the bottom when he says, "My mother talking to Maryam, right? Maryam, his mother, right there, mother that brought me forth the virgin light because she represented the virgin light that brought me forth." He's saying, "My mother." So it's like he's saying it to Elohim, uh, his mother down there below, and then the sun up above, which is the great logo, the symbol. And he's saying, when, "When it says, my God, my God,' but yet we see it interpreted as, Heloi, Heloi. That's the the uh, the the illuminated eye. That's the virgin light. My mother, my mother, don't cry for me because this is my chosen destiny. Nobody put me up here. This is my victory of light to to transcend and go beyond this putrid land of deception and and limitation. Because now I am infinite. When he comes back, what does he say? All power on earth and in the cosmos has been given to me. And, bu and by the way, I am with you always. So I just came back, okay? I'm not coming back. I'm here. I'm with you always, even unto the end of the time. And so see how they control so well the narrative that, well, we know one day he's coming back. Yeah, I know he's coming back. But we've been saying this how long now? 2,000 years, I think, right? Yeah, I know he's coming back. Yeah, see? See, they don't even know he's here. They don't even know he's here. They don't have a relationship with him. How can they say he's coming back and have a relationship with him, right? They're saying he's not here. You can't have it both ways. The truth is not a part of any lie. Okay? The truth is not a part of any lie. And so ISIS, uh, so when we read the old, the old uh, other traditions, to find out the parallels, because it helps us to see things more clearly, just like in Native American tradition, you know, they, they said that the first man was called Blood Clot Boy. When they said that, that's when I got the picture. Because I knew Adam was called red dirt. And I'm thinking, why, what is he made from the dirt for? You know, red and, and you know, is that in New Mexico? Because the red dirt's in New Mexico. I think he'd have to be made in New Mexico. Then, well, you know, it's like, you know, it, you're scratching your head trying to figure it out. But then when the Native Americans said that the first man was called blood clot boy, uh, who doesn't know what lava looks like? It looks like a giant blood clot. You know, and there's your red earth, the fiery, hot, purified magma. And now we get the picture of there was a mist that came forth out like a fountain, as in it is in Philo, out of the land. And boom, you know, the magma pours onto the ground and out of it, he, uh, the Elohim form Adam. OK, the first creation. And um, and, you know, they don't teach us at the bullpit, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm glad you tuned in right here. Want to welcome any new listeners. We're uh, trying to make lemonade out of the lemons that they gave us, the urine. Yeah, there you go, yellow urine, and um, and make uh, make this and transform it into the the sacred wine, you know, the the sacred wine of truth. Okay, yeah, I know it sounds rather you know bizarre to you know to suggest that it was water that it was urine, and 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 nobody ever got all these years. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to hear somebody acknowledge the truth, and I've known it for over forty years. This was one of the first things I could see. In, in all my waking up, you know, 40 years ago, I saw that, but I, I didn't, I never mentioned it because it was like, okay, but you know, it's okay now because, you know, I'm going to tell you also that Jesus, as it is in the Indo-Germanic, because I discovered it in the Indo-Germanic, sus, S-U-S, -S, is pig snout, 
And J-E was originally Y-E, uh, and uh, they supplemented the Y with the J, and it means ye for you, and Jesus literally means you pig snout. You know, just like we just we just saw that Lazarus, Lazarus, Lazar, you uh, ray of light pig snout, you ray of light pig snout. You see, they even did it to Lazarus, and they, and they do it to other words as well. This is the occultic. This is the Babylonian Talmud, what came out of Babylon after Cyrus the the Malik let them go back and rebuild the temple. What came back is a false, a pseudo Israel. They were already gone. It was over. And what comes back is the urine, the illusion, the controlling faction. They were merchants. They didn't they just tax everybody to death? You know, taxed everybody to death. And uh, and there, and if if they could have made money off of Yeshua's healing, they would have let them keep on doing it. But they weren't going to make any money on the deal. You see. And so, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So ISIS, so when we study the other cultures, just realize like with ISIS, she's Asia. She's just a type, a picture of the original thought that is Asia, the royal eye. She represents the light of the sun in the Mezarim tradition, Egypt. Okay. ISIS is Asia, the royal eye, the royal eye. And it's feminine as is Issa means the woman. In like in you know when you read the uh, Greek in the Septuagint, Issa, Issa, is Asia. That's the woman, okay, the royal eye. And um, you know this is a this is the play that uh, you know is um, being expressed in these Asia wars because the and so there's the woman at the center, the Asia war, the royal eye at the center. She's looking good, and and behind it is the spirit. Yeshua is on the throne of the sun. And therefore, Yeshua is both male and female by nature because he, when he appears to us in the flesh as a man, yet physical nature is female. And then behind him is the male, the spirit. The spirit is the male. The spirit is more powerful, right? That's why the man is bigger than the woman because the spirit is more powerful and the male figure is first prior to creation coming out. The woman comes out of the side of the male, right? Okay, so uh, two, about two more words here. Okay, I hope you're uh, you're not hyperventilating and, and you're you're sitting down, so everything's okay and you don't fall and hit your head. I know this stuff is really, you know, um, blowing your mind if you've not heard this stuff before because uh, we're just you got your. Own. <laughs> Sometimes it makes you want to vomit. You know, you got to vomit it out in order to to be able to put something pure and simple and beautiful back in. You know, yeah. Okay, let me breathe. <gasps> okay, I'm better now. Let me take a sip of my drink here, and um, and we'll we'll continue. I'm motiv motivated today because we're almost breaking two digits on our channel. You know, there will be a day real soon when we don't go back to nine or eight or seven or six, and um, and people will really start getting it. You know, and they'll they'll get on the phone. They'll call their friends. Say, wait a minute, you don't know you don't know what you're. You know, you got to hear this because we've been lied to. Wholesale stock. Stock and bond and, 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 and wrapped up pretty and, and inside is nothing but coal, charcoal. Okay, here's an original thought, right? I'll show you again. You know, we never get the picture, right? So when they say, you know, go get, go get the coal, right? Go, like uh, Lynn, she lives in Pennsylvania, you know, and they, uh, in coal country, and they say, go get the coal. Well, wh why did they say that? Well, how did the word, how did they get the word coal, all right? Because the word is not cold, C-O-L-D. You go get the coal because it is coal. It's cold out there, but the D is a corruption. Uh, it may have been on there. I have, but you know, there's the original thought. You see, the coal. It's coal. It's coal out there. So get the coal because we need the coal because it's coal. That's so they called it what it was. You go get it because it's coal. Do you see? And um, the same with the fire tree, right? The fir tree is the fire tree. Let's say, do an opposite now. Fire tree. Fir tree, you see, they, we never got the picture that fir was really fire because they, they, they brainwashed us and they killed the, the picture in the words by slanting them a little bit and changing them. And then we never get the picture. Coal for the cold, fir for the fire. You see, laundry is laundry. You know, we don't do laundry anymore. We do machine wash. I know you're having fun with this. I know, I know you know it's true, unless, unless really, you know, you're just, you know, the, hard, the people that have the hardest time with the, all of this, ladies and gentlemen, are those who are raised on religion. Those who are raised from, 
from day one, you know, they, they, you know, don't mess with my King James, man. Don't, don't mess with my King James, you know, and, um, and they love those corrupted words, you know, they want Esau, they want Edom, they want all the E words when it was originally Adam and Eshayal, you know, and Isaac was Eshayak and Ishmael was, uh, was Eshamaul, you know, and there's a story behind it. And when you put all the pieces of the puzzle back together, it opens up like a flower and it's like, where have you been all my life, my death? Where have you been all my death? Because you've been dead. You, if you, how can it be? That you're, uh, you know, uh, the enlightenment that goes round when you're not enlightened, right? The enlightenment that goes round, that's what Elijah meant, right? When you see the Elijah, the enlightenment that goes round. In other words, when people start saying things that you have never heard before, like Yalganun, who Yahshua said, of all the men born of women, there was none greater than Yalganun, okay? Right, why? Because he, he talked just like Yeshua, prolific, okay? Uh, the, that's why the people came from miles around from other lands to hear him. He had the message. He, the only thing different, he didn't do any miracles. And so he was another Yeshua. You see, the Twin Towers. They were the Twin Towers of that day. And, um, and, and, um, and so uh, Yalganun represented the old world. That was now evident of the, the, the end of the Levitical priesthood. And what was now evident that out of it, out of that, that uh, 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 primal soup came the end product that is the enlightenment that was all meant to be. And now we look back and we read the story as a metaphor and symbols, you see. And um, yeah, so anyway, um, let's uh, go to uh, two, uh, a couple more words here. Moses, Moish, I'm, I hope I'm going to be able to save my voice. I got motivated today for some reason and i'm uh, hoping i can do that uh i might have to i may have to do uh switch out my number my order of my books here okay i'll tell you what i'm going to save the words this is what i'll do i'll save the rest of these words for next time you'll have to come back ladies and gentlemen okay come on back and um i uh i, I really uh you know it's a challenge to get people to see what you can see you know it's a challenge and it's high noon Right now here in the Eastern time, ladies and gentlemen, do you know where your sanity is? Do you know where those psychopaths are and what they're doing to our world? And, um, and that it's over, the game, it's game over. And, you know, so we better stop watching the football game. We better start playing the real game, which is the game of life and making lemonade out of the lemons that they gave us. Because our, if we have two years left, by, by two years from now, we're going to see massive starvation. We're going to see massive roundups because when you can't feed everybody... The only thing left is either kill them or round them up because they want the food for themselves. And they're, and they're, they're not going to go for anarchy. They're going to probably turn on their 5G and we'll be locked in a, in a buffer zone with, a, you, know, you know, remember Star Trek? And you, you try to go through the, 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 the gate and you get electrocuted or, you know, shocked. And so you can't get through and they let everybody starve, each in their own little cell, in their own little triangle of triangulated uh, signals, you know. And, um, yeah, that's where we're going. That's where we are. We are there, ladies and gentlemen. And um, however they're going to do it, you know, you know, this is not our world. You know it. OK, so so wake up, wake up to what is true, correct, complete, not misleading, which is first, which is superior and um, and which what speaks, because what I convey for you here in the original thought in the Indo-Germanic is a science. It's an exact science and you and you can then learn it and then you can see and read it for yourself. Okay, that's the beauty behind it. You know, it's 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 like not. I'm, I tell you where I get it. You know, I tell you how I got it. And uh, and Shelley's over there editing herself now. That's interesting.